Installing a foreign use battery to your hybrid vehicle doesn't mean trouble as long as you properly check it, you make sure service the battery before installing it. So let me show you the procedure of installing a foreign use battery. So stick around. First things first is that I already serviced this battery, but what type of battery do we have here? Yes, look, this is the flathead battery. I'm talking about hybrid batteries from 2018 vehicle, 2019 vehicle, which are in good condition. Battery with low cycles and in great condition. So let's just install it and test it. So stick around. It's actually a 2015 Toyota Aqua, but before we install in the battery, we already took it out, but we gotta clean this mess. Yeah, clean it up, Woo! Battery is installing, but look at what I found over here. This is super important. Look at the battery outlet. The battery outlet, it's actually, there you see my point, real mess. So this is clearly telling me that oh, the air inlet and outlet of the battery is full with dust and debris. As I said, sometimes the customers don't have the money to afford for a brand new battery. So in this opportunity, we're just installing a foreign use battery. Once again, I have absolutely nothing against the foreign use battery. Just make sure it's a good battery, well serviced and fully rebalanced before installing. So we will continue. We gotta clean this first. There it is. Vehicle is in ready mode. Engine running, smooth as it gets. Time to hook up the scandal. There she is. She is fully installed, as clean as it gets. Time to test. All right, so we just hook up the scan tool, okay? Temperature is kind of stable. What we're gonna do is we're going to fully charge the battery and do a onboard low testing to see the average state of health of the battery. So we will continue. She's actually taking a long to charge, you know, which is great. And here it is, that's it. She won't let me charge anymore. So it's time to onboard low testing. She is taking forever to discharge. Oh, oh, oh. we gotta wait. So 15 minutes has passed since I began discharging the battery at over six amps, which is telling me, give me a second, look, whoa. I don't really care about the percentage that the battery gives me anymore because the most accurate test is voltage drop against time. So you should work upon between 15 and 20 minutes discharging the battery from its maximum to its minimum at 6.5 amps will give you so much great results. So I'm actually very happy with the performance of this used hybrid battery, which is of course in great condition. So let's wait up, how long it's gonna take, and I'll share with you guys the results. And here we go. She took a little over 18 minutes probably, so 98.83% capacity left. It is in good condition. Installing a foreign use Toyota hybrid battery with hybrid solution diagnostics is going to guarantee that you're having a good battery with low cycles and with very, very high capacity, which is exactly what you're looking for for a little better, more affordable budget. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Bye-bye.